In this video, I want to address a question that was asked on one of my last Axe FX3 videos regarding the power amp modeling and how the master volume control interacts with the power amp. Essentially, the question was along the lines of, you know, as you turn the master volume up on something like a JCM800 model, which I've got dialed up at the moment, does the power amp hit a sweet spot? And a lot of the time what people mean when they talk about a sweet spot, and this is going to be the definition, and the thing that I'm talking about in this video is on a real amplifier, the master volume will make the amp louder up to a certain point. It will hit a point where the amp stops getting louder, and essentially the amp can't be pushed any further and it starts to distort, it starts to compress, it starts to saturate and we get that wholesome power amp distortion that people always rave about. So I want to show you how to find those spots on different amps with the Axe FX3. I'm going to set the master volume quite low on this and I'm going to play a loop through and what you're going to observe over here, this is a very rough way of doing this, it's not super precise but you'll notice that the meters are going to increase up to a certain point and there'll be a point on this master volume control where the amp actually stops getting any louder, in which case, if you wanted the amp to be louder in the Axe FX3, you use the level control. But as we turn the master volume higher, it is gonna change the overall tone of the amplifier because now the virtual power amp is gonna be compressing and saturating and doing all the good stuff. So here's the loop. I hope you guys like Judas Priest. As you can see there, it's somewhere around three or four on this particular amp model where the amp stops getting louder as you turn the master volume up and the tone changes quite significantly. Around here, you can hear that it is, I guess you might describe this as being a little bit fizzier. There's a lot of different adjectives we can use uh, to describe that type of sound, but that to me is a sound that is dominated by preamp distortion. However, as you turn this master volume control up, I guess a lot of people would say, you know, the amp gets warmer sounding. I think essentially what's happening is that the amp gets a little bit more compressed and the high frequencies and the mid-range uh, basically change a little bit. So to, to my ears, you get more mid-range. The low end gets less defined it gets a lot more compressed and the high frequencies get smoothed out. Let's have a listen to that again. So while there is a point where the amp stops getting louder, it's somewhere between three and four, you also notice that somewhere in between six or seven on this particular amp, that the character and the definition changes. Essentially, if I've got the amp at around five and a half or six, that top end is very, very accentuated. It's very bright. And as I get it around seven, some sort of good stuff starts to happen. Let's have a listen to that again. So these are all great things to listen out for. This is just using it on one particular amplifier, but you can use this with any 
amp you like in the AxeFX3 that has a master volume control. If it doesn't have a master volume control on these authentic pages, then use the input drive. You know, the vintage Marshalls and the vintage Fenders are all going to behave in a similar way where they just stop getting louder and you just get the onset of power amp distortion. Furthermore, once you've got that onset of power amp distortion, there's another sort of spot in there where everything just kind of hits this like limit where it just starts getting really, really compressed and you start to lose a lot of definition. So the sweet spot, use your ears and not your eyes, of course, but it's going to be somewhere in between that point where the amp stops getting louder and where it just starts farting out and getting way too compressed. I hope this video was useful. I hope that you could clearly hear what was going on in all of there. And I hope it helps you dial in your Axe FX3 to get more glorious gooey tones. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.